This girl rushes out of KFC's bathroom crying. Then mom sees something on her leg. It was a crisp Saturday afternoon in the small town of Riverdale, and the air was filled with the scent of autumn leaves and the distant sound of children playing in the park. For Keisha Johnson and her four-year-old daughter, Maya, it was the perfect day to spend some quality time together. Keisha had planned a simple but fun outing, a few hours at the park, followed by a visit to Maya's favorite restaurant, KFC. It was their little tradition, a treat they both looked forward to, to an end of a busy week. As they walked hand in hand through the park, Maya's face lit up with excitement. The playground was bustling with children, their laughter and shouts echoing through the air. Maya's eyes sparkled as she spotted the swings and the slides, and she eagerly tugged on her mom's hand. Mommy, can we go on the swings first? Maya asked, her voice filled with joy. Keisha smiled and nodded, letting go of Maya's hand as the little girl sprinted toward the playground. Watching her daughter's enthusiasm always brought a smile to Keisha's face. Despite the challenges of being a single mother, moments like these made it all worthwhile. As Maya played, Keisha found a nearby bench and took a seat, enjoying the peaceful atmosphere. She watched as Maya climbed onto a swing, her tiny legs kicking the air as she tried to propel herself higher. The golden sunlight filtered through the trees, casting a warm glow over the park. For a moment, everything was perfect. But as Keisha reached into her bag to check her phone, she suddenly heard a loud cry. Her heart skipped a beat as she looked up to see Maya lying on the ground near the slide, clutching her hand and sobbing. Keisha's heart raced as she rushed over to her daughter. Maya, are you okay? Keisha asked, her voice filled with concern. Maya looked up at her mother, tears streaming down her cheeks. I fell, Mommy, she whimpered, holding up her scraped hand. Keisha knelt down and gently examined Maya's hand. The skin was red and raw, but thankfully the injury wasn't serious. Still seeing her daughter in pain, tugged at Keisha's heart. Oh, baby, it's just a scrape, Keisha said softly, pulling a tissue from her bag to clean the wound. It's going to be okay. How about we go get some lunch? That'll make you feel better. Maya sniffled and nodded, wiping her tears with the back of her hand. Can we get chicken and fries? Of course, Keisha replied with a smile. Let's go to KFC. With Maya's hand bandaged and her tears drying, the two made their way to the nearby KFC. The familiar red and white sign loomed ahead, promising comfort food and a chance to forget about the scrape. As they walked inside, the warm, greasy aroma of fried chicken filled the air, instantly making Maya's eyes brighten. Keisha noticed that the restaurant was moderately busy, with a few families scattered around the tables enjoying their meals. The clatter of trays and the hum of conversation filled the space. Keisha led Maya to the counter, where they placed their order, a kid's meal for Maya and a chicken sandwich for herself. As they waited for their food, Keisha noticed a group of teenagers sitting at a corner table. They were laughing loudly, their music blaring from a portable speaker, completely oblivious to the other customers around them. Keisha frowned slightly, feeling uneasy. She hoped they wouldn't cause any trouble. Once their order was ready, Keisha and Maya found a table near the window, away from the noise. Maya eagerly unwrapped her kid's meal, her earlier tears forgotten as she bit into a crispy chicken drumstick. Keisha smiled, relieved to see her daughter happy again. Halfway through their meal, Maya suddenly looked up at her mother with a serious expression. Mommy, I need to go to the bathroom. Keisha nodded. Okay, sweetie, do you want me to come with you? Maya shook her head, her independence shining through. No, I can do it myself. All right, but be careful, Keisha said, watching as Maya slid off her chair and made her way to the restroom at the back of the restaurant. Keisha kept a close eye on her daughter as she disappeared around the corner. She took a sip of her drink, her mind wandering as she waited. But just as she was about to take another bite of her sandwich, she heard a loud burst of laughter coming from the group of teenagers. Instinctively, she glanced over and saw two girls from the group heading toward the restroom, giggling and whispering to each other. A knot of unease tightened in Keisha's stomach. Something didn't feel right. She set down her sandwich and focused her attention on the restroom, waiting for Maya to return. Minutes passed, and Keisha began to grow anxious. Maya had been gone for a while now, and the longer she waited, the more uneasy she felt. 
Just as she was about to get up and check on her daughter, she heard it, a piercing scream that sent chills down her spine. Keisha's heart dropped as she recognized the voice. It was Maya. Without thinking, Keisha bolted from her seat, her mind racing with fear. She rushed towards the restroom just as Maya came running out, her face twisted in pain and tears streaming down her cheeks. Mommy, Maya cried, her voice trembling. It hurts. Keisha scooped Maya into her arms, holding her close as she tried to calm her down. What happened, baby? Where does it hurt? But Maya was too distraught to answer. She just buried her face in her mother's chest, sobbing uncontrollably. Keisha gently pulled back, trying to figure out what was wrong. That's when she noticed it, something on Maya's leg. Keisha's breath caught in her throat as she saw a patch of red, raw skin on the back of Maya's thigh. Her mind raced, trying to make sense of what she was seeing. Then it clicked. Maya, did something happen in the bathroom? Keisha asked, her voice shaky. Maya nodded, her tears flowing freely. There was something on the seat, Mommy. It hurt when I sat down. Keisha's blood ran cold as she realized what must have happened. She set Maya down gently on a chair and marched towards the restroom, her heart pounding with anger and fear. When Keisha pushed open the bathroom door, the smell of antiseptic filled her nose. Her eyes quickly scanned the room, searching for anything that might explain her daughter's pain. At first, everything seemed normal, until she saw the toilet. The seat was smeared with a clear, sticky substance. Keisha's stomach churned as she got closer, recognizing it immediately. It was super glue, carelessly spread across the toilet seat. Whoever had done this knew exactly what they were doing. A wave of fury washed over Keisha as she realized that the two teenage girls must have been behind this cruel prank. They had covered the seat in super glue, knowing full well that someone, anyone, could have sat down and suffered the consequences, and that someone had been Maya. Keisha stormed out of the restroom, her face flushed with anger. She spotted the two girls laughing at their table, clearly pleased with themselves. Keisha's hands shook as she approached them. Did you do this? Keisha demanded, her voice low but filled with rage. Did you put glue on the toilet seat? The girls' laughter faltered as they saw the fury in Keisha's eyes. They exchanged nervous glances, but neither of them answered. I'm talking to you, Keisha snapped. Do you realize what you've done? My daughter is hurt because of your stupid prank. The girls' smug expressions vanished as the weight of Keisha's words sank in. One of them stammered, We didn't mean to hurt anyone. It was just a joke. A joke? Keisha replied, her voice trembling with emotion. My four-year-old daughter is in pain, and you think this is funny? By now, the commotion had drawn the attention of other customers and the staff. The restaurant manager, a middle-aged woman named Mrs. Lewis, hurried over, her face filled with concern. "'What's going on here?' Mrs. Lewis asked, looking between Keisha and the teenagers. Keisha quickly explained what had happened, her voice choked with anger and frustration. Mrs. Lewis listened, her expression growing more serious by the second. She turned to the two girls, who were now pale of fear. "'Is this true?' Mrs. Lewis asked, her tone stern. The girls nodded, their eyes downcast. "'We didn't mean for anyone to get hurt,' one of them mumbled. Mrs. Lewis shook her head in disbelief. This is completely unacceptable. You're both banned from this restaurant, and I'll be calling your parents to let them know what you've done. I know them, and I'll call them. As Mrs. Lewis escorted the girls out of the restaurant, Keisha returned to Maya, who was still crying softly. She knelt down and hugged her daughter tightly, feeling the adrenaline and fear slowly drain from her body. It's okay, baby, Keisha whispered, kissing the top of Maya's head. We're going to the hospital to make sure you're all right. Keisha quickly gathered their belongings and carried Maya to the car, her heart heavy with worry. The drive to the hospital was a blur, but Keisha focused on keeping Maya calm, reassuring her that everything would be okay. At the hospital, the doctors examined Maya's injury and confirmed that while the glue had caused some irritation and discomfort, there was no lasting damage. They cleaned and treated the area, giving Maya some ointment to help with the healing process. Keisha breathed a sigh of relief, grateful that the situation hadn't been worse. But the image of Maya's tear-streaked face and the thought of what those girls had done haunted her. She knew she couldn't let this go. That evening, after putting Maya to bed, Keisha sat down with her laptop and wrote a post on social media detailing what happened. 
She wanted to raise awareness about the dangers of such pranks and the impact they could have on innocent people, especially children. The two girls who thought it would be funny to put super glue on the toilet seat in KFC, Keisha wrote, I hope you understand the pain and fear you caused my daughter today. It was dangerous and cruel. I hope you think twice before you do something like this again. The post quickly went viral, garnering thousands of shares and comments from people expressing their outrage and support for Keisha and Maya. The incident even caught the attention of local news outlets, who covered the story and emphasized the importance of being mindful of the consequences of seemingly harmless pranks. In the days that followed, the police became involved, and the two girls were interviewed about their actions. They eventually apologized to Keisha and Maya, admitting that they regretted what they had done. While their apology didn't erase the pain they had caused, it was a step toward accountability. Keisha was satisfied that the girls had been held responsible, but her focus remained on Maya's recovery. Over the next few weeks, she spent extra time with her daughter, showering her with love and reassurance. Slowly, Maya's spirits lifted, and she returned to her usual cheerful self, though Keisha knew the memory of that day would stay with her for a long time. As Keisha watched Maya play with her toys one afternoon, she reflected on the events that had unfolded. The experience had been a harsh reminder that the world could be unpredictable and unkind, but it had also shown her the strength and resilience of her daughter and herself. And as she sat there watching Maya's laughter fill the room, Keisha felt a renewed sense of determination to protect and nurture her daughter, no matter what challenges life might bring.